so we can go to our game and we can see right here in the corner, we can see our game. <laughs> All right, let's make a mini map. Now we're gonna make it the simplest way possible and then we're gonna fancy it up towards the end. So I have a game here created. It's called Zomtoy, that's what we call it at Hackadens, but it's basically just the Unity third person isometric shooter or orthographic shooter. It's kind of like a top down third person shooter. The little kid, little toy doll that runs around and shoots other toy dolls on the ground. But basically we're gonna make a mini map. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create my mini map camera. Basically, all a minimap is is just a camera that looks straight down on your level and then displays that out in the UI. So I'm gonna to go to my main camera here and I'm going to right click and create a new camera. I'm also going to rename this camera to, um, let's go mini cam. Now I'm going to change the perspective of this camera so it's more of a top down. Now these numbers are gonna work for me, but they might not work exactly for your game. Uh, your game might have a different uh, starting point for the camera, but you wanna make sure your camera is looking straight down on your level. So for me, I'm gonna change the rotation by 60, and then I'm gonna change the Y to uh, 36.7 and I'm going to change the Z to 7.4. That's just personally for this exact game, those are the numbers I'm using, yours are going to be different. Just position your camera so it looks straight down on your level. Even me, I could configure this, but I wanna make it so that it's at least similar to the perspective that the player has. Now what we need to do is display this camera out to the UI. The first thing that we're gonna to do to do that is create what's called a render texture. So in my assets panel here, I'm going to right click, create and choose render texture. I'm gonna call this uh, mini texture, but you can call it whatever you would like. Now this render texture has a bunch of settings over here. We're not gonna mess with any of them, except for maybe this size. If you wanted your texture to be a little bit more zoomed in or whatnot, you can change this size up here. But for us, we're gonna leave it just like that. Now this mini cam has a target texture right here. And this takes in a render texture. Well, we just created one of those. So we're gonna drag that in. And that what that does is it takes the display of the camera and renders it out to a texture. Well, what takes a texture? A raw image. So in my UI here, I have this HUD canvas thing. I'm gonna go right click UI and choose raw image. This takes an image file of any type. And then I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out here so I can see where I'm positioning that. I'm gonna position mine in the lower right hand corner of my UI. So if I switch to 2D mode, I can see that it's down here on the right. And I'm also just going to anchor that to the lower right hand side. So as my window changes, it always stays there. All right, so this raw image takes a texture. What texture do you think we're gonna put in there? That's right, this mini render texture. Now our camera is actually displayed right there in the corner. So we can go to our game and we can see right here in the corner, we can see our game. So if I hit play here, we can see a tiny little dot over there that is our player running around the scene. Now it's not super useful because it's so small and because the colors and all of that are rendered completely. So this camera is rendering everything in the scene. So technically right now you have a mini map. You can see exactly what your, your player sees from a top down perspective, but this camera is rendering all of the textures, all of the game objects, everything in full detail. We can change that to just render icons. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna to go to this um, player here and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna create a, a 2D object sprite. And I'm gonna rename this sprite to be player icon. And it needs a actual sprite texture in there. We can go with, um, let's go with this heart. All right, so we can see it's kind of hidden in the ground there. We can change its position if, or not the rotation, oops. We can change its position if you wanted to. We could chain, move it up out of the ground. We can then position it a little closer to where the player is, um, something like that. All right, now that I have my texture, my sprite on there, I just changed the rotation of it a little bit so that in our 
camera on our mini map here, you can actually see it a whole lot better. You can see the heart clearly. Um, I changed the size to three by three. Um, I also changed the um, rotation of it a bit just so that it laid more flat on the ground. Now, what I'm also going to do is I'm gonna add this to a layer. So I'm gonna add a layer here and I'm just gonna call this layer minimap. Now that I have the layer created, I'm gonna to go to my player icon and I'm going to add it to that minimap layer. Now what I can do is go to my main camera here. So this is the camera that I'm using mainly for the game. And I'm gonna change something called the cooling mask. So the cooling mask is what it displays. So which layers are displayed with this camera? So we're gonna go switch it from everything to nothing. And then we're gonna go ahead and check all of the layers we want to display. So we want the default layer, we want the transparent FX, we want the ignore raycast layer, we want the water layer, we want the UI layer, we want the floor layer, and we want the shootable layer, but we do not want that mini map layer. Now in our mini cam, we're gonna go ahead and go to the cooling mask and we're gonna choose nothing and then choose just mini map. So this will only display those items that are on the layer of mini map, which means we can do the same process that we just did for the player for all of the enemies. And then as we move around the scene, we just see the icons move, not the entire rendered environment, which makes the mini map a lot more useful because it's a mini map, not the entire game rendered from a different perspective. All right, hopefully that helps. Hopefully you're able to build this out for the rest of your enemies and see them move on the map. Play with the numbers. The numbers I used are not necessarily the numbers that you use, but they will absolutely help you get closer to that perspective that you want. So if you did add this, drop it in the comments. I wanna play your game and I'll shoot a video where I actually do play your game and post it to the channel. If you have questions, drop them in the comments as well. I, will lo I would love to help you out. And if you have in-depth questions where you want me to take a look at your code, I do that every Tuesday and Thursday and well, actually every day of the week over on hackydens.com. Sign up for a free trial and you'll get direct access to me and the rest of the Hackydens team. All right, I've rambled long enough. Go do this.